Hello YouTube, hello guys, welcome to another exciting day, welcome to my channel, welcome to YJ Digital World, I'm your host Agu Joseph. So guys, the Friday of uh, Good Friday to be precise, I created a design to celebrate uh, the Passion of Christ, that is the Good Friday to be precise. So I created a design and I uploaded it on my YouTube community post and some of you were actually commenting in the comment section that you would like to see how i went about achieving this to be precise okay so in this uh, video i'll be showing you how i went about doing this in few simple steps okay so the first thing i worked on has to do with my background okay i got this image control minus i got this image from free pick to be precise for the background to create that feel okay on the background to be precise okay so i actually uh, transform the size and scale it to something about this size okay and likewise this i place this image i also got it from free pick as well so i actually scaled it down as so rather scale it up to this actual dimension to be precise and i added the vector max like this pick my brush and scale it up using the open and close bracket key on the p beside the p button okay control the flows and the opacity and make sure this is set on black okay i don't like the way my two panel is let me expand it this way okay i think this is okay like this set this on black the black i use it to actually hide those parts that i don't need so i've set my controls my flows and opacity I'll just come over here, right click first and make sure you're working with this soft round brush to be precise. This hardness is set on zero. Okay. So I just come over here where I have the max layer and I just brushed out gently to blend it in with uh, the ultra background so that uh, there will be a smooth transition. Okay. So after I'm, I was done with that, I think I changed the blending mode to think this to be precise this is what i actually did and i went further to add a camera raw to this okay to the image this was how it was actually looking like when I actually blended it with that so i selected the layer of the image came over here and click on the camera raw filter okay let me give you a preview of how i went about working on the settings for the camera raw so on the camera row, I will expand this panel here. So on the camera row, I worked on the basics to be precise, on the basics to be precise. And here are the settings I used for the image, okay? So my main focus was on this area, the textures and the clarity, okay? Before working on exposure, contrast, and the rest of this, okay? It is more of an eyeballing situation. So when I was done with that, I came over here, added the feel of sharpening and a little feel of noise to this. And after I was done, I clicked on the OK button. That was in terms of uh, that. So the next thing I had to do was to hit Ctrl H to enable my guides, or you can set your guides by coming to view guides and new guides. I think you can set up your guide the way you want it for your project okay so this is how my guide was actually looking like so i start placing other design elements on my design such as uh, the logo okay i went further by adding the feel of noise texture i don't like having my background to be as flat as uh, it is so i added a noise layer so how do i go about creating this noise layer so i hit ctrl shift n on the keyboard call this noise to be precise okay change the mode to soft light enable the 50 percent gray and i clicked on the ok right click and converted the layer to a smart object and i told you that converting your layer to a smart object enables you to make subsequent changes to a layer at any point in time in a particular design okay that is one of the benefit of converting this so after I, I was done i was able to add noise to the layer okay i think this is the parameters for the noise i used so i come over here where i have the new layer i just created come to filter noise and add noise and i'll set it as follows and i'll click on the okay 
So you now notice that this uh, layer we just created has the same uh, file extension as this, okay? And this is set at the same uh, parameters as this as well, okay? So I think after I was done with that, I was good to go, to be precise. So let me delete this newly created one. And I went to place in my socials at this end, okay? Ctrl H to hide your guides. I enabled and placed in my socials. I placed in my text over here. So for the text, to be precise, I made use of a font called Raising Range. That is the name of the font, to be precise. And here are the settings I use for the tracking, the leadings. Okay, these are for the leadings. These are for the tracking. These are for the size of the text. Okay, that is in terms of that. And this is the name of the font I used for that. So I also went further to give, give uh, the text a uh, different feel of color. For this, I gave this white, white this, I gave it red. Okay, here's a hex code for the red color I actually used for this particular text. Okay, for this, I think this, okay, this particular text at the bottom, that is Happy Good Friday. I made use of the Montserrat font under the font style of medium. Under the font style, I made use of the medium. This is the size. This is the leading. Here is the tracking. Okay. Here is the way I actually set up the text. So I went to further to apply a finishing touch to the design project by adding a color lookup to be precise. So I enabled the color lookup of uh, Tree stripe dot look that is the name of the color lookup. So you can add the color lookup by selecting this layer over here that is the topmost layer. Come to your adjustment layer here and select a uh, color lookup. And uh, this was how I went about applying the color lookup. So you can this was the actual color lookup I used for the for the design. So you can go further and play around and see other color lookups that can fit what you actually need. So it, it is more of an eyeballing situation. So you use your eyes to actually identify the one that actually works for you guys. So I think that's all for that guys. So ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's tutorial video. If you find this video helpful in one way or the other, do well to give it a like, do well to smash the like button guys, smash the like button. If you are new to the channel and you are yet to subscribe, and you enjoy this content, do it to smash the subscribe button, smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content on my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys for always watching, guys. If you have any question, any comments, you can leave your questions and comments in the comment section. I will attend to them. Okay, guys. I'll see you in the next.